Hello friends, most welcome to my channel Easy Saxophone where you are going to learn everything about saxophone, its component, accessories and their usage. I am sure you will not get all this information anywhere else. Let's get started. <music> of saxophone but we will only focusing on four most popular one first saxophone is soprano saxophone family start with soprano which is the smallest in size this saxophone can be either curved or straight and it is in the key of B flat it's known for being a bit more difficult to play than the alto making it more ideal for intermediate or advanced player. Next saxophone is alto. Alto is the most popular saxophone played within its family. It's also considered the easiest to play so most beginner start off trying the alto. It's curved with a small mouthpiece and it is in the key of E flat. Next saxophone is tenor. It is often used in rock and jazz music. The tenor sax is large instrument with the large mouthpiece. It plays the keys of B flat. Next, the fourth saxophone is baritone. This plays in the key of E flat and is the largest saxophone of them all. It produces a deep bass sound and sometimes usage as extension at the end of horn to increase its range. If you are an aspiring saxophonist or a beginner musician, I would recommend to go for alto, which is easy to learn and sound beautiful. As such, we can divide saxophone in two parts, neck and body, which are unique and compatible to each other, just like lock and key. But to make sound, you would require additional accessories such as mouthpiece, reed and ligature. Let's start identifying one by one all accessories and parts which you need to know why it is used and how it is used. Mouthpiece is the most important part of saxophone which is responsible for sound and tone of saxophone. They are made up of hard rubber, plastic or metal. They usually comes in different size and number that ranges between 3 to 8. And they are also measured in alphabets A, B, C, D. To start with, you can go for Yamaha C4 or Selmer C star. Because of narrow opening, they are easy to blow. Mouthpiece is quite a vast subject which we will cover in detail in a separate video. Second most important part is reed without which we cannot make sound. Reed is made up of can wood which is supposed to be fixed on table of mouthpiece with the help of ligature. It comes in different numbers such as 1. 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 and so on. These number represent its hardness. Lesser the number, softer the reed. Higher the number, harder the reed. Softer the reed, easy to blow. Harder the reed, difficult to blow. That means lesser the number, easy to blow. Higher the number, difficult to blow. For beginner, I would recommend to start with 1.5 or 2 and go higher after 6 to 8 months once you trained your mouth grip around your mouthpiece which we call amperature and capable of blowing harder reeds. As you know, reeds are made up of canvas. That's why they are very sensitive to atmosphere and moisture level in the air and change with the atmosphere they change their quality quickly 
To ensure the consistent quality of reed, they are required to keep in airtight container along with reed vitalizer pouch. This pouch comes in different numbers which represent percentage of moisture they provide. For reeds, we usually recommend 72% moisture. That means any vitalizer which has 72 number written on it. As such in market, you can find reed case, but you can manage at your home with any airtight container and humidity pouch which are usually meant for keeping cigar. They also serve the purpose and quite economical. As I told, to fix the reed to mouthpiece table, we need ligature which comes in different shapes and made up of metal, fabric or leather. We can loosen or tighten reed on the mouthpiece with the help of a screw on ligature. The sound of reed can be altered by changing its material. For example, reed will sound different with leather ligature as compared to metal. Sex neck is unique to its body, just like lock and key. We can't fix soprano's neck to alto or tenor body and vice versa. Soprano saxophone usually comes with two neck, one curved and one straight because of which we can make different angle of saxophone with the body. Alto has L-shaped neck whereas tenor has long curvy neck like goose. Because of shape and angle of neck, it controls speed of air inside the body of saxophone and make a unique sound. Broaden part of neck goes to body and narrow ending with cock sheet on it meant for mouthpiece installation. This is the main part of saxophone having 21 to 22 keys on it which are pressed either by finger and few keys with the help of palm. It has two thumb rests as well which helps to hold the saxophone and one ring at backside to hang the sax on neck or shoulder strap. Narrow end of the body is meant for neck whereas lower bell shaped end emit 70% sound and rest 30% sound comes from flaps on the body. Majority of saxophonists use neck strap which comes in variety of material such as leather, neoprene and nylon fabric and manufactured in such a way that they put minimum pressure on neck by providing maximum cushion and elasticity. But the people who has complained of neck pain or spondylitis, they should use shoulder strap. Friends, a saxophone weigh around 5 to 7 pound, which is 2 to 3 kilograms. It bound to create pain in the neck. And if we practice saxophone for longer time, that is 20 to 30 minutes, it would highly recommend to use shoulder strap so that you can prevent from any possible neck injury or disease like spondylitis. Not only this, you can practice saxophone longer time without any hassle. We need to have one saxophone stand where we can put saxophone during practice session to give rest to the neck or to do some other work. These stands comes in many shapes, size and quality which you can purchase based on your budget. To insert the mouthpiece over cork neck, we need lubrication so that it can slip on the cork sheet easily. We use cork grease here which provides temporary lubrication between cork sheet of neck and mouthpiece. Unlike other grease, it's odorless, tasteless and non-toxic. It's evaporate automatically after some time, hence has to apply every time before inserting mouthpiece. Sometimes people apply grease over the other end of neck so that it can be easily inserted to the body. Few saxophonists apply this grease inside the mouthpiece baffle so that there is no formation of droplets 
due to moisture and mouthpiece remains clean and dry all the time. But there is no scientific studies found to encourage this practice. Now we will learn about three different absorbent pad that are used in saxophone. First pad is body pad which absorb all moisture of body which built after playing saxophone and keep leather pad inside the flap clean and dry. They also prevent dust to enter inside the body. Second pad is neck pad which is more of use to clean the neck by inserting this pad from one side of neck and pull out from other side. It cleans all water accumulated inside the neck and keep it free from rust or dust. The last pad is mouthpiece pad which is used to keep mouthpiece clean and dry all the time and prevent any bacterial or fungal growth. As you know, saxophone is a woodwind instrument where we use air and wood to make a sound. In this kind of instrument, when we blow the hot air from our mouth and once it is reaches to neck and body of saxophone, it's cooled down and turns into water droplet due to condensation. The presence of moisture and water, they are highly prone to develop bacteria or fungus or rust easily. That's why they need thorough cleaning of instrument every single time we play. Pulling rope or swab. It is made up of rope whose one end is tied up with muslin cloth which is highly absorbent in nature and second end has one metal piece to keep rope straight when inserted inside the body. Mouthpiece has saliva and water inside which need to be clean for hygiene point of view. To clean the mouthpiece we need to have a good brush that cleans mouthpiece inside out. We will also need one small piece of soft cloth to clean reed after playback or excess grease or to dry the mouthpiece after washing with water. You may also require reed cutter to cut the tip of reed in shape again because sometime it may damage with your teeth or ligature. You may also need a sandpaper of number 800, 1500, 2000 or 2500. It must be fine quality paper to smoothen and polish the reed. To dip the reed in water, you would also need one container made up of glass or plastic. If you buy premium saxophone such as Yamaha, Selma or Yanagisawa, they comes with fine quality hard case. But if you buy a generic, inexpensive brands, their hard case are average in quality and not up to the mark. You may use them at home just as a regular storage case. But if you want to go outside to learn or for performance, then you would need a travel case for saxophone which will not only keep your saxophone safe but also mobile. Saxophone is a very loud instrument. If you have a soundproof room then it's fine. Otherwise you can purchase sex mute which block the sound of saxophone to 20 to 30 percent. This is pure optional and on your discretion to buy or not. If you want to record your saxophone at home then you would require microphone especially meant for saxophone. Here are some options. My first choice and recommendation goes with gooseneck microphone because they don't capture background noise and manage high dB of saxophone sound quite nicely. My second choice would be condenser microphone because they handle both vocal as well as instruments. But they are very sensitive and need external audio interface to record your saxophone. But this is absolutely optional. If you want to record, go for it. Otherwise, you can ignore it. 
Here is the comparison of price of alto saxophone across three nations. As you can see, that saxophone is an expensive hobby. So think twice before making any decision to buy it. Here we can see how much money you would need to purchase saxophone accessories across three nations. This is just to give you an idea how much money you would require to buy these accessories and maintain your hobby to enjoy your saxophone. Here is the final price including instrument and accessories across three nations. Please make your choice based on your budget and take correct decision. If you are short of fund then please stay away with this instrument because not only instrument and accessories its tuition is very expensive and that will also add up to its final cost. Guys, if you like this video, please give me thumbs up below, share and subscribe my channel to get timely updates of my new video. Thank you and God bless.